All right, guys, so this is how you get high ticket clients for your content agency. And these are recurring high ticket clients, anywhere from 3K a month to 8K a month. I use the same method to scale my content agency from zero to 93K a month. So let's get right into it. Basically, search process. So we use social media to find these clients, specifically Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. Those are my favorites. There's also LinkedIn that works as well. And I'm gonna do a live walkthrough of how this works. So basically, number one is you can use keywords, right? So let's say you go to Twitter and then you put in the search bar like coach or helping or founder or CEO or stuff like that. Helping is usually a good keyword. And then you switch to the people tab. Then from there, you can find people who have those keywords in their bio. Those keywords I gave, that's if you're targeting like coaches, like they typically have that in their bio. Maybe you're targeting like someone who's like a fitness guy. You just wanna think, okay, what do all these guys have in their bio? or like in their name, you know, what do they have in common? You put that in the search bar and then you can find them. And then once you find one prospect, right? Then what you do is you go into that prospect's following. So you see who they follow. So let's say like you want to target health and like fitness coaches like those guys. So let me show you guys real quick. I searched up like health and wellness on Instagram or just health. And then I found this guy and then you want to go to his following, right? So in this case, he only follows himself on like his personal account. So then if we go to his personal account, this is what it looks like. He follows 800 people. So now, you know, one health and wellness guy, he probably follows other health and wellness dudes. So now I'm gonna go through his following and I'm gonna find all the other people that match my ICP. So I'm gonna one by one click through every single profile manually. Yes, you heard that correctly. And you're gonna find the profiles in here that you like or like the ones that are in your ICP. And then you're gonna add them to a spreadsheet or whatever sort of tracker you use, right? So that's how you do it. The reason why we're doing this manually instead of automated or something like that is because we wanna make sure that the people we're collecting, like these leads, they're actually people we want to work with. If you automatically scrape a list, you're gonna get a ton of weird people who would never get results on content. So that's one thing with a content agency. You wanna be specific with the type of people you work with and you really just wanna work with people who you actually think will get results. I mean, I think this goes without saying for every type of agency, but specifically content agencies, some people just aren't built for being on camera. You're gonna keep repeating this to build a list. Eventually you're gonna go through someone's entire following. So in this case, that dude's following was what, like 800 people. So then, you know, you're gonna go through 800 people pretty quick. You know, maybe you'll get like 100 people, 200 people from that. So you're gonna wanna go to the next person and just build up a list. So typically I build up a list of like 100 people and I just reach out to them because I know for every 100 people I reach out to using the Dream 100 method, which is something I talk about a lot, I'm gonna close one to two people. All right, I know what you're probably wondering, like what is the evaluation process for these leads? Like how do we even know that they're you know, qualified? Like obviously we go through this guy's following, you know, we find all these people. How do we know like which ones to go through? Like, okay, this dude Wiz of Ecom. How do I know like, okay, this guy is a good fit? Or, you know, what is the evaluation process? So basically, like number one, you just wanna look at their social media profile, right? You wanna see like, okay, do they have a lot of followers? Do they look like a noob in business? We're trying to assess if they can afford our services, if they need them, and like if they're a good fit, right? So let's do a live analysis, right? I just went through Oscar's following and I also just clicked around Instagram and I found this person. So Colin, shout out Colin, great guy. He's my friend's client, so I'm not gonna try and reach out to him or anything like that. But let's do a live profile analysis on this guy. So number one, we're gonna check and see, okay, how many followers does this dude have? Okay, he has 700,000. That's a lot of followers. Okay, next up, okay, let's see. Okay, he's posting a Lambo. He's out on like yachts in Miami. Okay, okay, he's like, he's traveling. He's flexing the watches. Okay, this guy clearly, you know, he has some money, right? Obviously, some people are gonna be like flexing on the internet and like they're fake, but you can tell by like looking at their profile or digging deeper into them, you'll, you'll be able to tell. But this guy, Colin, he's been around for a while, posting content, always posting IG stories. He's got multiple businesses. Like he's probably legit. By the way, guys, I know Colin is legit. I'm just like putting myself in the shoes of like, I'm analyzing someone. So basically, all right, I found the profile, I analyzed them. So first thing I look at the followers, I see, do we have a ton of mutuals? I'm looking at their lifestyle. I'm just trying to see, you know, if they're a good fit. Other than lifestyle and like how much money they have, you wanna see if they're already creating content, right? So like this guy, he's creating a ton of content. Okay, he's probably a good fit to run up YouTube. Or maybe you wanna sell him short form, same thing. He's making content, so he probably makes money from his content. So we can help him make more money from his content. So next up, you'd also wanna just look at his YouTube channel and his other socials, see if like his following is universal, right? Cause some people, maybe they buy followers on one social media account and they have nothing anywhere else. So Colin, he's got followers on Twitter and he's like known. So I'm not gonna do that, but you just wanna look at someone's profiles because you can buy Instagram followers. So you always just wanna be careful. So going through here, I looked at this. Okay, he had a lot of followers. He doesn't look like a noob. So we didn't disqualify him. 
right? So now I'm gonna show you a profile who probably deserves to be disqualified. All right, so let's say you just went through, you know, that guy Oscar's following and you find this guy Cyrus, right? You're looking through it. Okay, he has only 800 followers. Like he doesn't have like a business in his bio or like anything explaining what he does. Like, okay, it looks like, you know, he's having fun. He's like a, some sort of college kid or something, but there's no like business stuff going on here, right? It's just nothing. Like this wouldn't be a good fit. We disqualify him right away. And then like, you know, the lifestyle doesn't check out, doesn't have followers. He looks like a noob. And then also like we check his funnel quality. We look at this person's website, right? So obviously this guy Cyrus, you know, shout out Cyrus, but he doesn't have any like website or funnel or anything in his bio. So like, let's go back to Oscar, for example, he's running like a DM me word funnel. So we can't really like look at his, you know, his website and see case studies and stuff, but he's saying he has 300 plus client results, which is very, very good. Most people have zero. Also just scrolling through here, we can see he has a good business because he's saying, Hey, lifetime of digestion issues fixed in weeks. You know, he, he's saying, Oh, my hair is thicker. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 So this guy has a ton of social proof, right? So he's legit. He has like another case study right here, right here. He's also saying he has like a ton of testosterone. So this guy's legit. That's what we're doing in this funnel step is we're really just checking like, okay, does this person have a good business, right? Cause the last thing you want to do is take on a client who has a bad business and they don't get their clients results and they're maybe even just scammers. So this is one good way to check. Cause if someone has social proof, they typically make money as well. So next up, we're going to look at their content success level. Even if someone has like bad views on their content, we can still sign them, right? But this is just good to get a pulse on like, where are they at and where could they want to be? It just gives you ammo for your pitch. So like here, I know I said, hey, if it says no, like disqualify them, but that's not actually true. So I'm gonna delete that. All right, so everything looks good. So now we're moving on to the pitch. So before we pitch, we wanna just add them all to a spreadsheet, keep it organized. Like, hey, here's all the leads. You also wanna have a tab that says like, follow up number one, follow up number two, or like first message sent, rejected, sales call book. This is basically gonna be a CRM. You wanna keep it simple, you could use a spreadsheet, you can use Trello, Notion, ClickUp, all those types of softwares. And we're gonna do custom high quality outreach. So let me repeat that, custom high quality outreach. We are not gonna do copy paste, stupid cold DMs, like those email people who are like, hey, do you are you doing anything with email right now? You know, we don't wanna be a short form content bro who's like, hey, do you need short form content? Like, no. So we're gonna do custom high quality outreach. So what this means is we're going to send them free short form videos up front. We're going to send them content strategy documents. We're going to send them freaking like just stuff like looms, you know, scripts, content ideas, a loom analysis of their content. Like we're really just going to send them free stuff up front. This is custom high quality outreach. And this works so well because if you invest like 30 minutes to an hour in a single outreach and the person sees that, which they will after the enormous amount of follow-ups, they're going to almost feel bad for not answering you because you're putting so much time into it right? This is what we want to do. When you just text someone, Hey, do you need short from content? Hey, do you need uh, YouTube? Like it's so easy to leave you on open. Cause like, you're just like every other person, number one. And number two, why should I respond to someone if they're not putting enough effort, right? I already have enough people reaching out to me. So that's sort of how you want to do your outreach in terms of your follow-ups. You want to just keep following up until they say yes, or they say no. So the follow-ups, like you typically want to do one, two days later, one, like a week later, one, like two weeks later, and you just keep going and going with the follow-ups like for eternity. At one point you'll reduce the frequency until it's like one follow-up like per month. So it'll be like super low effort on your end, but we're just going to continuously touch base with this person and eventually it will work. Obviously there's going to be like a couple people where like they just never open the DM, but that's fine. We also want to reach out to these people in an omni-channel manner. So that means like hit them up on Instagram, freaking Twitter, email, LinkedIn, everywhere. And then eventually this is going to lead up to a sales call. So one thing I want to mention as well is another way of finding people like other than Instagram and Twitter and LinkedIn, which is the method I was talking about. You can do YouTube, right? So on YouTube, you could search up like how to make money online and you'll find like those gurus or you'll search up how to get in better shape. You'll find like the fitness coaches and then you can go to the about section and you can grab their email. They also usually have their social media accounts listed there. So that's a good way of finding someone. So yeah, guys, that's the whole thing on how to find high paying clients for your content agency. Today, I just signed someone for like 4.5 K a month. Also closed like a one-off project and things are going good with the agency. So I still use this method today. Is this the only method I use? No, this is half. The other method I use is personal branding and inbound, but like I use this to go from zero to 15K a month in four months. And then I use this method combined with the inbound personal branding method to go from zero to 93K a month in 15 months. All right, guys, that's everything for this video, but I want you to watch this video on screen because I went over how I scaled from zero to 93.5K a month in 15 months as a content agency. So I'm not a freelancer, I'm a content agency. But if you're a freelancer right now, you could easily transition into a content agency. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed that video and that's it. Peace out.